Hey guys, in this video, um, I'm going to show you three glitches. Um, that is pretty easy to do in GTA. You can do it in anything. So, you want to try it? Try it. It's just free, but I'll talk. To you, I'll tell you what to do on all of them. All right, in this one, basically. You get an insurgent, or if your friend has an insurgent or something, uh, it does work with other stuff like taller, taller vehicles basically. Get a car off the street, or you can use your own car if you want. So you block off the door, like I'm doing, see? So you can't really get into it. Make a little gap between the wall and the insurgent. Just stand your character for like 10 seconds, like I'm doing now on the screen. And then start moving your character wobbling and left and right. Do not try and move low. And then walk to the hood, and then back up. Just keep doing the same sequence, back up, left, right. And as I say, stand on the hood again. So basically, what you're trying to do, um, if you've probably seen it before when your, your player collapses, he just falls over. Uh, it normally happens if you run into things. But you just see on the screen now what actually happens. Like that. And you should be teleported in to the building. So get a gun out and just walk forward. You have to do it with a gun, by the way, or you just fall straight through there. And then you should just fall in and you just explore. The thing is, like, if Rockstar have actually customised this, like, it actually looks exactly night like, they've put time into it. You can run through all this. But they haven't patched it yet, so if I was you, just go and try it now. Like, but you've got to be careful still, you can still fall through the map. There's no death zones that I know of. But like I said, you can still fall through. We just spawn on the motorway, so yeah, like so. Well, like I said, getting big, big insurgent or something. All right, basically this one um is basically two steps, steps, steps. Sorry, but. Um, like I'll, if you put like, like a thumbs up on the video, everything, like it. Um, I'll show you the second part. But what you want to do to get the duffel, this outfit, you've probably seen it. You get a duffel bag, and then if you want to change it over, when it, your guy's about to take the parachute off like that, select another outfit, and then the duffel bag will be on it. It's better to do it on the beach because it's longer distance. And it's near the mask shop, and it, there's a clothing shop around the corner. You should know where it is, but I'll show you anyway. But yeah, the beach is probably perfect. I see. I have got police car, the helicopter, but there's normally cars around the corner. But um, if you're doing it with a friend, it's better because then you don't have to get police. But like I said, it's all solo. All of these are solo. And if I just select my other one, see it's not on there, but if I go back to the other one, it'll still be on there. But then if I go back to it, if I go back to the other one, it won't be there. So you actually have to save as an outfit. So if you really want that, make sure you do. Just get a car. 
So I'll show you where the clothing shop is. It's just around the corner as well. Seriously, I woke up on San Vitus Boulevard running away from it. Alright, I didn't mean to kill him. <laughs> Did I was going to shot? I thought it was police shot him. Alright, let's go. Mm, this one, yeah. But if you really want to see how to get a duffel bag, just, just like the video. And I'll do it, of course. And same with the um, mask on the helmet glitch, I'll help you do that as well. It takes a little bit longer, but I'll both do in a separate video. So the clothing shop that you probably want to go to is this one over here. This one. Just go in, save your outfit. But don't, if you haven't saved it already, just, just don't switch, switch outfits because it will go. Alright, for this one, um, it's how to get a hat over an um, outfit. Well, you're probably thinking, oh, you can already get a hat over an outfit, over a mask. And glasses. And maybe I'm going to try something new, which I don't know, which is um, a rebreather or a night vision. Alright, so I'm going to swap outfits quick. Uh, Alright, this is my normal duffel bag one. There you go. We use this. So it's normally better with the hockey masks or something you can see the eyes, but it's all about the pogo mask. Yeah, when you do this, have some money, um, cash-wise. I'll say just to get 50 out, because you ha really have to, because if you mess up, it's just, it's just wrong. Like that time I've done it right, and just walk away. Just walk away. There you go. See? That's all, that's it. It's pretty easy, this one. Like I said, get some cash out of your bank. Yeah, but it works with every one of these masks, I believe. If it's not, tell me and I'll try and find a way to sort it out. Um, it works better with these masks. Than the hockey masks. Try it with this. I don't think it'll really work, but walk away. Alright, so it works with the hat, but I think it already does anyway, so. Let's try out the pig. Basically, I'm doing it all first time here, but like I said, I've done it so many times, so I know I'm doing it. Alright, so it actually doesn't work, the red breather of the mask, but if you guys can find a way to do it, just tell me. See, that's why I messed up. That's why I ran away quickly. There you go. As soon as you're like this, don't move or anything. Just select any, any hat. Try glasses and I'll show you. There you go. It's a pretty cool outfit. Yeah, guys. Um, make sure to like, subscribe. And if you want more glitches, just tell me and everything. And I'll reply back to you and look at my page on Facebook.